Hi, I'm Pam DeWolf. I'm the garden manager here at SAGE, the Starker Arts Garden for Education. And our purpose here is twofold. The first is that we produce fresh produce, berries, honey, and eggs for the Corvallis Food Bank and for the Two Stone Soup Kitchens. Our secondary purpose is education and we provide education for our residents here in Corvallis through workshops, summer camps, and volunteer works with training and our To Grow Box program. You might think that the success of a garden depends solely on its soil, the amount of water it receives, or how diligently it is weeded. While these things are all important, these are not the sole measures of a garden's success. Really, there are three things that make a garden grow. The people who volunteer, the knowledge imparted to the community by the garden, and finally, the productivity of the garden and the ability to spread the food throughout the community to benefit local individuals. I've been a lifetime gardener starting when I was nine years old with my grandfather who taught me to garden and I learned that what I really like doing best of all is working with people who want to learn to garden and who want to grow their own food and sage is the most wonderful opportunity to do that to teach people of all ages to garden and to learn to love to eat what they grow and to have fun gardening together. HP came to me a while back because I have a, a role in at the HP Corvallis site coordinating uh, the Volunteerism Council and we promote volunteer opportunities in the community so that HP employees can connect. We identified Sage Garden as the as a great place for volunteers to come out and work. The more I learned about what the Corvallis Environmental Center and Sage Garden are and what they do, um, the more it really made sense, uh, both in terms of um, the mission of what HP wanted me to do, which was try and find a, an organization where we could have a sustainable and lasting volunteer relationship, and also something where there really is a a very powerful connection between what goes on here and, and what happens in the community. Um, I'm Amber, I'm from Florida, and I'm part of the AmeriCorps National Civilian Community Corps. I'm Danielle Jetu, I'm from New York, and I'm also a member of the National Civilian Community Corps of AmeriCorps. And our main project site here is actually the SAGE, right behind us. Um, and so we in this project are working with them to help increase their produce, their production, is that mm -hmm. accurate? Yeah, to help increase their production. Um, and that's something that Pam, the garden manager, has said that we've helped with a lot, just in terms of being able to consistently provide that service of any management or garden management tasks that need to get done. SAGE employs a crew of agriculture interns whose job is to help grow produce in the garden, educate volunteers, reach out to the community, and learn about sustainable agriculture. My favorite garden task is the morning harvest because we get to see everything that is grown and also get to eat a lot of it. SAGE also hosts a motivated group of volunteers who are part of the local Youth Volunteer Corps who offer invaluable assistance in the garden. When I help my friend out in her garden plot, I get to observe what's going on down here and had a chance to talk to the garden manager, Pam, and it sounded like a, a, a good thing to come down to and uh, really admire what the young folks from AmeriCorps are doing out here. Came to Veggie Fest to support Sage Garden and get some yummy veggies and have lots of fun. Have you been to Sage before? We have. Awesome. Calvin has volunteered here a couple times. Wow. What have you done? One, I grow up like a big kid. I'm going to volunteer. Yeah. Can you grow up to be a big kid? You're going to volunteer? Hi. My name is James Cassidy. I am a soil science instructor at Oregon State University. And I'm shucking fava beans. And it's a veggie fest, ma'am. Kind of watched it go from nothing here to this. And it's been awesome. 
my two children and I, uh, my daughter Malia is eight and my son Malin is five and we come to SAGE as part of a Roots and Shoots group um, every Tuesday afternoon and we volunteer with a group of um, other families. Pam actually puts on a lot of workshops for us. Um, we've had soils workshops here at the garden. We've had beekeeping workshops at the garden. We've had composting workshops. We've had a lot of different workshops. So for Sage, it's not just about what we can do for the garden, but it's also about what they can do for us. Sage also offers a variety of summer camps geared towards youth that work to increase their personal and community food awareness. My name is Sarah McCune and I'm the Education Coordinator for the Edible Corvallis Initiative and today we have our What's for Lunch camp and so the basic idea of the camp is that we do garden work and garden related activities in the morning and as part of that we do a harvest and then we take our harvest to Avery House Nature Center. We bike over there in the afternoon and then we cook using the things that we harvested from the garden. So today our main theme is learning about hunger and um, resources and scarce resources. So we've played a few different resource related games and um, trying to teach the kids that not everybody has as much as we all have here and um, emphasizing what the Sage Garden is actually all about. To me it's such an amazing experience for children to grow up having a sense of being able to grow their own food and being able to grow food for other people they may know or they may not know and just that, that power of being able to do work for somebody else um, such as give them food. My wife and I have been connected to the South Corvallis Food Bank for a long time and uh, when I talked to her to tell her that I was trying to line up a project with uh, Sage Garden, she said, oh good, they give produce to us down at the, at the food bank. Sage is a valuable resource for the community of Corvallis. The garden provides fresh produce three times a week to the two stone soup kitchens and the Corvallis food bank. From there, each organization can do what they will with the produce. And then you see the kids wander through and various folks that are enjoying the park and things that'll wander around and it's it's just a fantastic setting. Anyone can walk in and sit down and volunteer and Pam will explain to them how to do it and they can be a part of it and also just learn from the experience. Sage is a very important part of our lives and we love it. I would like to invite everyone in Corvallis to come down and volunteer with us here as we learn and grow and share what we know.